What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing Zamazetta for Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Zamazetta, this Pokemon is the total opposite of Zacian. Zacian is for big time physical attacking, whereas Zamazetta is for a more of a defensive style of play, considering every time you hop onto the field, due to its item and ability, you are going to get a defensive boost. So we're pairing it up with Incineroar to drop physical attack, making Zamazetta super bulky up against physical attackers. Move set for Zamazetta is going to include Protect, Body Press, Iron Head, which will actually turn into Behemoth Bash. And last but not least, we got Y Guard to protect our team from double hitting moves. Now, Zamazetta, I did use in the past, and it's actually pretty solid. So, hopefully, we get to showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential and grab some wins for you guys. But other Pokemon on this team, besides Incineroar, since we already mentioned him, is going to be Walking Wake. Walking Wake can pair up into the sun, get that Protosynthesis boost, and on top of that, do some big time damage with Hydro Steam. Furthermore, it's got Draco Meteor for stab, Snarl for special attack drops, and last but not least, it is Rock and Flip turn. A nice little pivot move for him. He can swap out with that. I love it. Our final three Pokemon on today's team, we got two support Pokemon. One is going to be Tornadus, Weather Control, and Speed Control, and two is going to be Cresselia. You can heal up Ally Pokemon with Lunar Blessing. You can protect Ally Pokemon with Ally Switch. Then you got Icy Wind and Moon Blast. Our final Pokemon on today's team is going to be a big time physical attacker. Choice, Ban, Fighting, and Dark Urshifu. This thing does some crazy big time damage with Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and last but not least, we got Poison Jab. Good old coverage move. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Zamazetta. Moving on to our first match for today's video, we're going up against a tough squad here. Ice Rider, Calyrex, and Trick Room, always a problem always a problem but how am i going to actually count this one and how am i going to end up playing this because this one again is going to be super tough for us it's going to be terribly tough we have no way of countering trick room um i do have first turn priority with sucker punch but the only problem with that is going to be for rigoraf but honestly i do like urshifu here so i am going to go into urshifu and i am going to end up going into zamazeta here for the lead i do like that we got to bring in Sinor. and last but not least we could just go crest I mean, Crest doesn't have Trick Room, but its speed's kind of mediocre, and on top of that, we can always ally switch to maybe make a play happen. I think that's our best bet. Amoongus, we're definitely going to have to watch out for. Very, very annoying, but I think we could try to counter Trick Room, because they only have two Pokemon that could go for Trick Room. One would be Frigraph, and the other would be Ice Rider Calyrex, right? So maybe I can just dump on it, turn one. I'm kind of hoping they lead, like, for Frigraph, because in that case, I can just go for, like, a Wicked Blow into it. And most likely, its terror type would be fairy, so I could double down with Behemoth Bash. But that's only if they go for a graph without a fake out user. Which most likely, or they would go into it with a Moongus too, which is just a problem. So it, it looks like they're pretty, this Trick Room team is pretty easy at getting up Trick Room. So it looks like they're going to be able to get up Trick Room. And this one's going to be a tough one for us. And we're going to have to try to cancel out uh, Trick Room turns, waste it out, and try to go the distance with this one. Gonna be tough, definitely gonna be tough. Because if I were them, I'd just go into like Amoongus for a graph or Rillaboom for a graph, just fake out, set up Trick Room, Rage Powder, set up Trick Room. Pretty simple, easy plays for them. But we'll see what they wanna do. And that's a sick picture. It's just Ursa Luna Bear on a roof. <laughs> Ursa Luna Bear on a roof. I always love seeing some good trainer cards. Let's see who they end up leading. It's gonna be these two. Okay. I don't mind. I, I simply don't mind. I mean, I get a lovely defensive boost. Um,. We should just double down to the Calyrex if it ends up Thrasslizing or Thrasslizes. We don't list shield for that defense boost. And again, their their team is full on Trick Room. It's made for Trick Room. So I'm just going to go for Wicked Blow here. And I'm just going to go Behemoth Bash right through. I mean, I do have Y Guard, which would be good, but um, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. If you protect Calyrex, that's fine. Wicked Blow is going to hit through. If you Thrasslize, we're doubling down with a Steel and Dark type move. So hopefully we can still KO. Let's see what they end up doing, but that's kind of weird. He's going to just withdraw the Calyrex. Who are you going into? Who's eating up this Wicked Blow and Behemoth Bash? That's the real question. Rollaboom, maybe? I, mean, I would love the KO Rollaboom here. I would love the KO Rollaboom. But I wonder what Pelipper's doing. Hurricane? It's most likely a Hurricane, but Behemoth Bash flies to the rear, half damage, big time crit, and Wicked Blow is going to finish this thing off. So we get rid of him, no problem. And again, chances are Hurricane's flying through here from my boy Pelipper. And you're gone, Urshifu, right? No, Weather Ball. I, I can eat a Weather Ball. I can soak a Weather Ball. Wow. Did not expect Weather Ball to do that much, but 
Hey, we soaked the weather ball. All right, cool. So now, now we got rid of Roboom right off the rip from a bad change for them. Kind of just a bad lead for them in general. They're going to go into Amoongus, and this match is actually looking great for us. The reason I say it looks so good is because, like, honestly, like, they have one Pokemon to set up Trick Room, right? And then the other Pokemon can't do much. So I'm just going to double down into Amoongus here. So Behemoth Bash doing some solid damage. Can Quick and Blow finish this thing off? With the choice span. Give it to me. Ah! 1 HP Bandit. A 1 HP Bandit coming across the board. Kind of annoying. Another Behemoth Bash should be able to finish that off. Actually, I don't know, after this terrain boost. But he's just going to drop a Hurricane here. So maybe he thought I was Thrasilized last turn. And this is going to kind of get annoying because I'm just going to get spored here. We already, we already know what's coming. I don't even have to think about it. I don't even have to think about it. There it is. There it is. So my big boy Zamazetta gets spored. But they don't have Trick Room up, which is just great news for us. Wonderful news for us. Big time news for us. And honestly, do I just go into Incineroar here? Maybe just Thrasilize him? Probably best bet. Probably your best bet going to Water Terror. Because Pelipper probably going for a Weather Ball. We need to be able to soak it. Um, I can honestly just fake it out this turn. Honestly, I'm just gonna fake out the Pelper. Are you gonna put me to sleep, Amoongus? That's my problem, is you're just gonna put me to sleep. You know what? I'm just gonna fake out the Pelper, get rid of Sash, and just waste out these turns. It's gonna get annoying. We're gonna go for a Behemoth Bash in this slot. It's just gonna end up withdrawing, okay? The so withdrawals here. And you probably wanna go for a Weather Ball or something, but I'm just gonna fake you out. And we'll kind of go from there. So, Regenerator's going to pop with the Amoongus. And now I'm kind of getting scared because with with my boy asleep here, this thing's most likely clear amulet, right? And you have Cover Cloak. Are you kidding me? You have Cover Cloak. Are you serious? Come on, man. I should just harass lies. But now with me being asleep here, I don't like where we're sitting. How this match just turn around like this? We were looking so good. We were looking so good. And then Amoongus lived on one HP. That's pretty much the uh, the turning point there. But now from here, I mean, we have Terra for Fairy type. Um, Moonblast can just fly into this slot. And I could just go into Wide Guard here and read maybe a Glacial Lance. But again, we're kind of just uh, in a weird spot where I would rather probably go for Behemoth Bash here. Because I'm, I'm, I'm slumped right now. I'm slumped, so from here we're just gonna go into Behemoth Bash. They are gonna end up Thrasilizing. And I shot a Calyx is pretty much just gonna win this match, it looks like. It sure looks like that, because they got a nice lovely water terror type. Pretty much a perfect terror type for us. And yeah, I, I this one this 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 match just took a turn. This one just took a turn. And I'm asleep for a third turn in a row. Come on, man. Can I just wake up from these sleeps? Moonblast gonna fly. We are out speeding the Pelper. Can we get a special attack drop? We don't, and Weather Ball's flying into this slot. I could go for Wygar next turn, but Weather Ball's doing damage. High horsepower doubling down. We are able to soak with that defensive boost. And Zamazetta should be a free wake up here. It should be a wake up here. And honestly, we should just go Moonblast. Actually, we could just go Ally Switch here. But this, this, was, this is just a tough one. Actually, I could go Lunar Blessing. We are outspeeding both. And why didn't I just Lunar Blessing last turn? I could just outsped, but I'm going to go in Lunar Blessing. And I'm just going to go into... I got to go in the Body Press here. Do as much damage as we can. So I finally wake up. Body Press flying across. Bop. Not bad damage. Almost half on the Kalox. Lunar Blessing going to come out here. And I probably should have brought this Pokemon in earlier. Because it, it would have healed the uh, sleeps. Weather Ball going to fly. Can we soak this Weather Ball? We do want two. Don't double down. You are doubling down. How dare you? Why would you double down there? Why would you double down? I mean, it makes sense. But yeah, this, this game just took a big time turn. Once that Amoongus put me to sleep, I was like, bruh, it's over. It's over. But I definitely should have brought my Walking Wake. If I brought my Walking Wake, I think this battle is a different story. But again, Amoongus just getting the best of us, living on one HP, then put me to sleep for three turns. So I'm just going to run this one. Let's go hop through a second match, look for a first win.
So guys, a little rough start for us in match number one. Wish we would have grabbed ourselves that win, but again, that battle just took a straight turn. We had a big time KO onto Rillaboom, and then once that Amoongus lived on one HP, that battle just flipped and they took control of it. But we're going up against a Rayquaza team with Dragapult, Incineroar, furthermore they have Ogre Pond, and then they got Palmot and Salamence. So from here, I mean, decent amount of physical attackers. So I feel as Incineroar could be a solid lead for us. Same thing with maybe like Zamazetta. Or I can lead like a speed tailwind user such as Tornadus. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. Or I can lead Crest and just start throwing Ice Humans around, especially after a fake out turn one. I think that's pretty solid because I don't really want to waste a slot for Tornadus. Let's be honest here. I really just don't want to. So I'm going to go Crest. I am going to go Incineroar here. In the back end, we're going Zamazetta. And last but not least, it's either Walking Wake or it's Urshifu. Walking Wake or Urshifu. Who would I rather go into here? I mean, Urshifu would suck a punch really good. Really good. That's kind of my play. We're going to Urshifu. Choice Band Sucker Punch. Can't go wrong with it. You cannot go wrong with it. So we'll see who they want to end up leading here. I feel like our turn one is all about just fake outs and icy wins. Right? Most likely what I'm going to do, try to get some speed control for the team. Fake out for flinches, and then maybe just parting shot out, intimidate, you know, all the good stuff that Incineroar does. But we are on one, and I need to grab ourselves a win. I need a win here. I need a win. So hopefully we can get Rocket here. So let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Salamence alongside with Incineroar. So, okay, so pretty similar lead, right? We're both going to intimidate. Uh, I think they're going to double intimidate. That's fine. I'm parting shotting after this. I'm parting shotting after this. I might just hard swap. I might just hard swap here. I might just hard swap because if they're going to fake out anybody, I feel like it would be my Incineroar. So I'm just going to hard swap into my boy Zassian. Or not Zassian, Zamazetta. And then just go for an Icy Wind. Slow, slow him down a little bit. Plus, Icy Wind's four times super effective on the Salamence. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I do like this. So they're intimidated. Most likely, they're both physical attackers. I mean, Incineroar minus two. Not really doing too much, so instead of faking it out, we are just going to go for the hard swap. Considering their Incineroar is faster and their fake out is going to come out before mine, so if they want to fake out my Zamazetta um, slot, which they do, no big deal. We take three damage. Three damage, and Rock Slide's going to follow them, which we so. Oh my god, the soaks. The soaks. Icy Wind now comes out. We get some speed cooking. We get some speed, and that does half damage on the Salamence, which is lovely. The big time damage on the Salamence, um. I could just go for an ally switch if I want to. I could go for a body press into Incineroar. This thing is going to be rocking left. So most likely, Salamence either protects or hard swaps here. And I think from here, we just go for a body press into the slot. And on top of that, we might just want to double down. I just want to double down. I mean, you could go for party shot into in uh, Zamazetta. But honestly, who could they bring out here? I feel like whoever they bring out, we would just want to slow down. So I'm just going to go for another Icy Wind. We might as well just spam Icy Wind. Then they're going to withdraw Salamence. We are going for another Icy Wind just for that speed control. It's going to be Ogre Pond. That's totally fine. So it's going to be super effective on Ogre Pond. We're going to slow it down a little bit. And Body Press is going to connect on the Incineroar. Doing massive damage. Massive damage. My boy. Zamazetta. That's big time. Taking out a Fake Out and Intimidate user. Icy Wind got to fly across. Chip up some damage on the Ogre Pond. More importantly, slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Oh, no, it's Defiant. Oh, no, I totally forgot. You're Defiant. But at least we got your speed down a little bit. So they could go back into Salamence just for Intimidate, but they end up choosing Rayquaza. The Rayquaza coming out here. Um, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. And what I have to do is actually just start attacking this thing. This Ogre Pond, which I'm going to do. I'm going to double down into Ogre Pond here. Don't like it being plus two. It could go for a Spiky Shield if it wants to, but I'm going to have fingers crossed that it doesn't. But that is rough. That is rough. Defiant boost. But Behemoth Bash coming in here. Doing some damage. Decent amount of damage. And Dragon Ascent's going to come through here. That's looking real scary. But we soak super good because of our defensive boost. And he takes his defense route. We love that. We love that. So Moonblast is going to follow through here. Both my Pokemon do outspeed Ogre Pond, which is awesome. And Brick Break is going to connect and just KO us. You're rocking Brick Break. You get a crit too. You get a crit too. Okay. So from here, obviously I could go back into Incineroar and drop their attack stat. But I think we're in a decent position where we bring out Urshifu right now. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So Urshifu going to come out here. Um, 
Dragon Descent is a flying move, so we might just want to Thrasslash you into Poison. And then just choice into Wicked Blow. I think that's our best bet. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to follow through with an Icy Wind here. Just a nice, lovely Icy Wind, because that is going to just go into KO with Ogre Pond. And furthermore, it's just going to slow down the Rayquaza. Cool. So I like this. I like this. Turn. So Big Time Terror coming out from Urshifu. We don't got to worry about Dragon Ascent. This thing's defense is down, so I feel as whenever we hit it, this thing's just going to fold like a piece of paper. And it's going to be gone. But um, Zamazetta killed it. I'm just gonna kill it. I liked it in this battle. So Wicked Blow flies it out speeds, and yeah, this thing just folds like a piece of paper. Get it on out of here. <laughs> Get it on out of here. See you later. That's a big time KO for us. Icy Wind should finish off Ogre Pond. No problem whatsoever. And this match is pretty much wraps. So, making up for our mistakes in match number one, we come out here hot in match number two. Zamazetta hitting like a truck. Zamazetta did great. Body press doing some big time damage. Defense boost, bulking shots. And Salamence is gonna be their final Pokemon. So, out comes Salamence. They still have Terror if they want to use it, but Wicked Blow is just probably just going to KO it regardless, right? I would think so. I'm just going to go for a Moonblast here. Are you going to cancel battle? Are you going to cancel battle? Or are you going to Thrasslize and just let your Salamence die? Yep, they cancel battle. So we're 1-1. One one. Let's go hop to our third. Look for that 2-1 winning record. Moving on to our final match for today's video. We're going up against a Ursaluna Trick Room team. That also features Torkoal, Indeedy, Ogre Pond, Vivlion, who's such a cool Pokemon, and Orangaroo. So this could just be a straight up Instruct Trick Room team, right? I do like Urshfu here for the lead. I think it's a great Pokemon, especially being the Dark type, going up against Psychic types. We gotta love it. So I'm gonna end up going into that. I don't think bringing Incineroar is going to do us any good. I think we need some big time attackers, such as Zamazetta, such as Wake as our lead, to try to just cancel out Trick Room. But who could they lead here? I mean, they could just go into Indeedee Orangaroo and kind of just get off Trick Room pretty easily. But we're gonna hope that they don't do that, right? We're really gonna hope that that doesn't happen. But I mean, I could go into you. And start body press. I mean, you do have Y Girl, which is going to be good up against like moves such as Eruption. So I am going to end up going into you. That is going to be my lead. We're going to end up leading you. We're going to Urshifu. We're going to go Incineroar in the back end. Just because that Pokemon's great and they're going to probably set Sun. And then we'll go Walking Wake. Because if they do set Sun, Hydro Steam damage goes through the roof. Okay. So this one's definitely going to be tough. If we cancel out Trick Room, we should have this match unlocked. I mean, Y Guard could come in clutch. And I'd love to win this match and go 2 1 for today's video. I feel like we only went losing record once on the casual ladder, and I'm not looking to continue that. I'm not looking to continue that. I want that win. I want that win for you guys. But hopefully, you guys have been enjoying all the regulation G content. Been a lot of fun. We only have a few Pokemon left to showcase, and I haven't showcased Lugia yet. I'm planning on it soon. Don't worry, guys. I got all the Pokemon, but I've been loving regulation G. Been a lot of fun to showcase these brand new Pokemon, especially because in about. 13 days when a new month starts, uh, ranks to come out. So I get to use these Pokemon on rank ladder for you guys. They're gonna end up leading Vivlion alongside with Ogre Pond. So I get a nice big time defense boost. I could Terrasilize here. I might want to Terrasilize. And honestly, what is your terror type? Is it Fairy? It's Fairy. Okay, so Fairy's okay. It's easy here. I could end up just protecting and then just going for like a Wicked Blow. This might be my best bet. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna protect Zamazetta. Let's just protect this Pokemon. Let's just protect it because we're going to see a Terra pop out here. It's going to be the Ogre Pond. So, Ogre Pond said, You get a defense boost, I want an attack boost. And again, I protected my Samoseta, and I think he's going after Samoseta. So, this could be huge for us just to protect and then get a big time wicked blow. Is this thing? I'm cool with it. Unless you're going after Urshfu, which I wouldn't like one bit. I wouldn't like that one bit. But there's big time protect. Samoseta looking sweet. And sleep powder. Yo, what is up with this game and putting me to sleep? Not having it. I'm not having it. Not having it. You do end up going for Ivy Cudgel in this Ambassada, but Vivlion, I expect it more from you. What a coward. What a coward Vivlion is. That's what we're going to start put, calling people whenever I get put to sleep. Cowards or Pokemon. Vivlion, you are a coward. Put me to sleep like that. Get on out of here. But from here, I'm just going to go for Wicked Blow. I am just going to Terrasilize here. Actually, I could hard swap into Incineroar. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. So that's what I'm going to do. Hard swap straight into Incineroar, drop its attack stat, back down to normal, and then we can have fake out next turn. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I feel as... I feel as Vivian is going to put Incineroar to sleep. I feel as that's what's going to happen, and I'm going to be very annoyed. 
Let's see. Am I going to sleep again? Am I going to sleep again? Let's see. Do I intimidate? Dropping yo attack. Get on back to normal. And you coward. Like, dude, this is what I got to deal with, guys. I feel like people just see my nameplate, jeans, and they're like, yeah, we're putting them to sleep. This guy's got to go to sleep. It's getting out of hand at this point. It's getting real out of hand. Ivy Culture going to fly here into the Urshfu slot. And Urshfu takes a lot of damage. It takes a bit too much damage. And I can't do anything. I'm asleep. Vividly outspeeds all of my Pokemon. It's starting to get annoying. Can I just wake up and punch this thing? Actually, I'm choosing to wake up low. Don't even matter. It don't even matter. We're going to go for Flare Blitz here. But this is just absurd at this point. What am I supposed to do when I just get outsped and this is sleep powder, sleep powder, sleep powder? Come on, man. I want to win. I want to have a fun battle. I don't want to be asleep the whole time. Just showed the front view of my Pokemon. They're all just eyes closed. Snoring. <laughs> Finally, they withdraw Vivian, but now it's just going to save it for later. And I'm just going to get sleep powder later. And indeed, he flies out here. Indeed, dubitably. So we're going to say bye-bye to our Urshifu, which is a big-time problem. That was a big-time attacker of mine. Ah, and they can just go for follow me. And he's just actually going to U-turn out and pick up the KO. Absurd. And let me guess, they go back into Vivian? I wouldn't be surprised. And then follow me sleep powder? <laughs> would not be surprised. I would not be surprised to see that. Would not be surprised. All right. Let's check it out. I think they should just like. I think they should make. They should nerf sleep and only make it one to two turns. Three turns is a lot, man. Did they really just bring back out Vivleon? <laughs> what do you want from me? Bring it back out Vivleon. Do I go back into Zamazetta? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, we're gonna go into Walking Wake here. I don't think Walking Wake outspeeds. This is just absurd. Get out of hand. You're going to put me to sleep. I already know you're putting me to sleep. So I'm just going to go for Hydra Steam. I'm just going to go for a knockoff. I'm going to double down to Indeed because most likely Follow Me is going to be popping out here. You guys enjoying this? Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not having fun at all. Not not one ounce of fun right now. Not one ounce of fun. All right. Maybe I am a little bit because I'm giggling. I got the giggly bits going. Because I'm ha I enjoy recording, man. Win or lose. I need pop a trick room. This is absurd, but thankfully we finally outspeed Vivleon. We finally outspeed Vivleon, which is good. Um, we're gonna go into Hydra Seam here. We're just gonna go for knockoff into Indeedee. And they end up withdrawing Indeedee. Can I wake up? Can I wake up? Ursaluna comes out here and trick her now. Now this is just like absurd. Absurdly annoying. Vivleon's probably focused Ash too. I wake up though. And do I bounce off Flame Worm? Let's go. I get rid of Flame Orb, which is great. And I wake up as well. KO this thing. Get it on out of here. What are you doing? Yo. Can this thing miss one? Is, like, at least. But now Vivian is slowest on the field. And I can just go for a Snarl. I mean, oh, dude, I hate this Pokemon. He's gonna protect Ursa Luna. He's gonna protect Ursa Luna and put my walking wig to sleep. I know it's coming. I already know it's coming. We're just gonna take out my, my Incineroar. No, dude, please. Please. EQ's gonna fly here. It's in a research, which is good. And I got Barry. Walking Wake should be slower than Biblion. And I'm slumped. The snarl comes out and finishes off Ursaluna. Please, please, please. Please, not another sleep powder. I had enough. I had enough sleep powders. Do something different. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I swear, this person watched my videos and he's seen that he's versing me. He's probably just like, yeah, dude, I'ma just I'ma just piss Jean off Jean's off today. I'ma just piss him off. Sleep powder, sleep powder, sleep powder. Come on, man. Let me play the game. Let me play. That's all I ask. Let me play. Come here, I'm gonna go for Hydra Steam. I'm gonna go for a flare bush. Just take out Vivlion, but I'm i I'm asleep. 
I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I have to save our terror type too. For Zamazetta. But by the time that happens, Trick Room's gonna end. It's gonna be a problem. He's just gonna put me back to sleep. I haven't seen this Vivian do anything except for use sleep powder. And I have a feeling it's just gonna keep clicking sleep powder. Like, this should not. Like, how is this in the game? How is this in the game? I because you're gonna fly here. You're going after this real question. Nice Cinderor, can you soak this? You don't. You get absolutely dumped on by it because it gets a crit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. And I'm just, guess what? Guess what, guys? I'm still asleep. And guess what? Vivian uses sleep powder again. Getting out of hand at this point. Getting out of hand. All right. Um. I know I'm going to sleep with, with Zamazetta, but I have to go after this uh, this ogre pond here. I have to. I have to go here. I have to terrestrialize you into fairy just so we don't die in one shot. And I have to go for a body press here into ogre pond because we. I, I'd rather be asleep than uh, ogre pond just teeing off with ivy cudgels. Because at least if we can KO ogre pond, we have a shot at winning. But if we if we KO v Vivlion. Then it's just like Ogre oh, Pond's just gonna take control of this game and just hit us with Ivy Cudgels and KO us. So I think we have a better chance of winning by actually being asleep. If I win this match somehow, I think the person that we're bursting has to turn off their video game and or just like throw it away and never play this game again. Because if you're using eight sleep powders a game and losing, we got a problem. We got a problem. So big time terror comes out here. We do outspeed Ogre Pond, and that's half damage. He ends up going for a U-turn here. And I need to wake up. I need to wake up here. Can I wake up? Indeed, he's gonna come out here. Can I wake up? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Big time wake up. Ever. Time is at a slump now. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get this play style. It makes no sense to me. Makes zero, not a singular sense to me. All right, so from here, if I'm doing anything, I'm dropping Draco Meteor into Biblion. Let's play all day. Let's play all day. We're gonna go for Behemoth Bastion here. Can I wake up? Can I just wake up and just, ooh, just send it? I mean, Zombies is asleep now. But I just want every single Meteor to crash down onto this, uh, Onto this Vivlion, but at this point it's kind of over because once we, if I wake up here, KO Vivlion, then they bring out Ogre Pond, they could just follow me, spam, and then I would have to go for Behemoth Bash, and this thing's gonna end up going for. Are you truly scarfed in this sleep powder? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? I do wake up here, get it out of my face. Finally, we KO Vivlion, but at what cost? At losing the match. Get it on out of here. And indeed, what are you going for? What you got, Cooking? Please don't KO my boy. Dazzling Gleam. Trick room. So he resets the trick room. Actually helps out my Samazetta. We're not. Um. Hmm. To come back out here, I don't want to protect. I got to go for Hydra Steam here. I'm just gonna go for body press. I forgot this thing's normal too. So body press actually does decent damage onto this thing. So Psychic's gonna fly through here. Samazetta, can you wake up? Samazetta, Samazetta, if you wake up, we have a huge shot at winning this match. My dude, my dog, body press your KO. My dog, hold up, am I gonna win this match? Don't tell me I win this match. Our opponent better hope we don't win this match. Yeah, I wish Nintendo was like was like PlayStation and Xbox and like PC, where I could just type in the chat. Like Rocket League, when I when I'm versing people like this, I just type in the chat, like going after them, <laughs> I'm like yeah, okay. I'm cursing them out and everything. <laughs> but I wonder what's gonna do more damage: Behemoth Bash or Body Press? I'm gonna go for Behemoth Bash here. We're gonna test out the water here. Psychic, how much damage are you doing? Okay, not that much. Behemoth Bash. That much. We, oh, we get a crit. We get a crit. You have a berry. I think we're going to switch to body pressure. I really do. I really do. 
So Barry helping him out. Is this person really gonna lose this match? That'd be embarrassing. They canceled the battle. Get on out of here. We go to sleep how many times? Someone count. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna be honest, ladies and gentlemen. If that last opponent watches my videos, if you're watching right now, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, but you gotta knock that off. That's gotta be stopped. Not allowed anymore. That's the last time you do that, all right? You understand? You understand. All right, cool. Cool, cool. But somebody's gotta let me know in the comment section down below how many sleep powders they used. Not worked on me, they used, because I think they used 10 plus, and that was absurd. And we still won the match, and hey, we got ourselves a 2 1 winning record rocking out with Zamazenta. But guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.